What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So today's video is a review of a Lamborghini 10 inch ring light. So if you're looking to upgrade your YouTube videos and you're looking for a ring light, well, I'm going to do a review on this ring light so you can see whether or not this one is worth purchasing and see how good it is. I'll compare it to the one I've already got, which is a lot bigger. So it might not be a fair comparison, but still, if you're looking for a new ring light and this one is ideal for what you're looking for, then it's all good win situation but first before we jump into that video i need to shout out my two new subscribers so shout out trevon jones and man like mo thank you both for subscribing i appreciate you both hope you hit the notification bell as well so you really got notified for today's video and for future videos favorite comment for this week is coming from mmb marky appreciate you bro appreciate you being a part of the community being part of the channel and engaging let's dive into this video so this is the ring light box the box it comes in is not that big Decent sized box. We we'll open it up. Let's see what we've got inside. So we got looks like some kind of holder. Another little holder, looks like a phone holder, which is cool. Then we've got the ring light, 10 inches, some instructions. And it was supposed to come with two bags, but it looks like, looks like there's only one in there, but we, when I open the bag, we'll, we'll see if it's come with two. And then we've got the actual stand. Quick look at the instructions. Pictures on there to make it easier. Fair. Uh, it says, thank you for choosing our product. Yeah, we like all of that. New type. New type of LED ring fill light with built-in multi-lighting mode, which can switch among cold, white, warm light, RGB light source and combined dimming. So yeah, that's good. If you, if you like me and you like to change the, the settings of, of of the why is that then? change the light settings then that's a good thing um as you can see here pictures telling you showing you what's what so pull out the tripod open the tripod just high and screw the knob clockwise to lock it let's go That's different. Okay, yeah, cool. I like that. Yeah, that's quite smart. I like that. Small. Compact. This is how tall this can go though. Just going to drop this on the floor quickly and see what this other pole's about. Don't forget to tighten it up though as well. Otherwise it would just splay out. Just tighten the knob there. Then you've got another pole here. I'm guessing that you just put that. So yeah, this is what the ring light's going to sit on. That's what the ring light's going to sit on. And that just sits on top of that. What does it? What's that? Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. No way, can't be like that. So I'm just going to extend this and see how tall it is. So you've got three different parts there. That's actually quite, quite tall. I didn't think it'd be that tall. Decent height, same height as my other one. Almost. 
Then we've got another pole here, but I'm not sure how this, how they expect me to put that on. Mm. Luckily it's got instructions so I can see what's going on. It says that you're supposed to twist it on, but... Yeah, look. There's a little black thing on there that you're supposed to twist off. I didn't. I made that mistake. So it's actually quite tall. It's taller than my one. The one that I use all the time for recording videos. Decent, decent height that is. Almost as tall as me. <laughs> and so let's put this ring light on. Got some some buttons, some buttons there. No remote. But the wire's quite long. The wire seems quite the wire seems quite long. And that the screws on top. Yeah. Overall, overall the build seems feels quite sturdy. This plastic part here, the ring light, plastic but feels good quality. Then you've got the the stand metal, quite sturdy, which is good. USB. Oh, wow. So, just double check these instructions because I didn't. Yeah, so I didn't realize it's a USB port that, that it comes with for the light to work. So you're going to have to put in, plug it into a laptop or, yeah, I wouldn't recommend plugging it into a, an actual plug. Plug, plug to turn it on. So I'm just going to plug this into the Mac and see where we go from there. So I plugged it into the Mac and turn it on. The lights come on on the actual display unit. I'm going to turn off the one that I'm using for the camera and see how bright it is. So if you're going to put your phone in there, you're going to need an, an extra clip. I can't see, unless I'm missing something, how you're going to put this on top of here to hold your phone. So I'm going to switch lights now, test this one out and see what the brightnesses are like and then you can just you can decide in the comments below which one you think works best the price point for this is low cost so i can't really compare it to the one that i'm like using now because that's like three times the amount but we can test it out see what you're saying is how good it is yeah let's go So this is without any light, just natural light coming from the window. We turn it on. It's not, that's not bad, you know. So I'm going to turn it right the way down. And then turn it up fully. Okay, so, right, so that's, it's kind of hard to describe what I'm actually doing, but yeah, every time I press a button. So this is kind of like the white blue ring, I'd say, and I'm going to turn it up full, full blast. That's actually quite good. It's decent. So we're going we're gonna to try the different tones that it comes with. So that's the white, that's the bright white. So that's the, that's the last one on the setting. So that's the brightest, we're gonna go through them. So that's like an orangey hue. It's not too bad. Go through it again. Yeah, I always like these type of ones, these settings. I think that's the brightest setting. And that's 
the most orange. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Five different settings. Brightness levels, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six different settings for brightness and five different settings for hue. And I think it's I think it's cool. I think it is it's decent, especially for the price point. And it's compact as well, it's small. You got it a carry case. Just double check how many cases it comes with. I'll turn this up a sec. Do I need to turn it up? I don't think I do. Let's go with that one. We roll with that. So the carry case. One carry case. That's all you need. Just one. And then you've got a case for this little holder for the stand. And then a holder for the uh, ring light. No branding on it, so no advertising for them. I'm sure it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. So that's cool. Um, I'm not too sure what this thing is for. I don't know what that's for at all. Um, yeah, just quickly check the instructions, see if it says anything about that. And I, I don't see it say anything about it at all. So if you decide to buy one and you know what this does, what it's for, then drop a comment below and uh, yeah, let everyone know what it's for. Showed you this earlier, this is the phone holder. So you can put your phone in, tighten it up at the back with the screw. But then, what happens after that? I ain't got no idea what this, what this is for or how you're supposed to connect that to the to the ring light. I've got a holder already which will fit in the ring light and I can put my phone on. But I feel like it should have come with something like this which would have made it a lot more easier and straightforward. I probably could have opened it up first and understand what's really going on. Switch lights. But I just felt like it would have been better for to do an unboxing and just go through it with you so you can see how or what to expect when you if you decide to buy one, what to expect when you open it up. Um, yeah, cool little ring light. Gone back to the my original light, the one that I use all the time. I don't know how much of a difference is. I'm sure there'd be a bit of a difference because this one's bigger, but like I said, this one here, for the price point, yeah, good, definitely, it's decent. Would have been nice to come with a, a mains adapter rather than having to plug it into your laptop or something else uh, to get some power, but all good. Another thing as well, if you want to change the angles, if you want to change the angles of the ring light, twist the knob. You can change it to whatever you want. Cool piece of kit, this is decent, sturdy. I like it. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a nice, sturdy, compact ring light, then I, I would recommend the Lambany Ring light. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Did you think the brightness was not as good as the other? But like I said, you can't really compare the two because one's mains and the other's USB and the size isn't different. But yeah, just drop a comment below. Let me know what you think, uh, which setting you thought was worked best or if it made no difference at all. If you like this sort of videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.